So how long you been out here guarding these poles? I've been here last night. Huh? I'm just being funny, man. I haven't been here that long. What, since seven uh since eight thirty? Yeah, eight fifteen? So about eight eight thirty. So that was uh fifth uh forty minutes ago. Just think, eighty babies died while you guarded those two pillars. Actually, it's not a good thing. That's why we're here. Because you got, a, you got a representative that goes to your church that had the opportunity to support a bill that would have made abortion illegal in this state. I'd have loved it, man. And he walked away from it. Yeah, politicians. I don't like them. Okay. And your pastor is the legislative pa prayer council leader. He also had a chance to support that. No, sorry, I didn't watch the Continental Divide. That's awesome. Okay. It's a huh? It's a pro life sermon. We're not pro life, sir. Obviously, your church is. That's why we're here. Pat Fallon is a pro life representative who doesn't support measures to make abortion illegal in this state. I'm against abortion, man. If, if, we, if it could stop, I'd drop to my knees. Right, right. But, but what, what exactly does that look like? What does that look like? See, a lot of people have a good moral opinion. They say, oh, I'm against the board. You, you said you're against the board. I said I'm against the board. They said they're against the board. What does that look like? Like if they were going to drag this dude off and beat him and kill him, would your answer be, well, I'm against that? Yeah. And, then, and then stand there? No, I take action. There you go. That's what we're saying. That is, that is the difference between a pro-life person and someone who actually believes in abolishing something. You can, you're welcome to do what you're doing. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not arguing. I'm just speaking. I'm old, so I, I, don't have, I don't hear so well. So I'm speaking loud, plus you're a distance away. And if I come over here, that'll get your church cranky. Okay? Um, so that's the only reason I'm speaking in a, a louder tone. But as far as, I mean, I'm not arguing with you at all. I'm just letting you know that it's, everybody can have a good moral opinion. Okay? There were lots of people who had a good moral opinion when they were killing Jews in Nazi Germany. They were called Christians. Did you see any of them rise up? No. You saw one, Bonhoeffer rise up. Okay. Yeah, everybody likes to say Bonhoeffer is good. Except when people do the things that Bonhoeffer did, then they don't like it. Our conversation. You're an adversary. Our tactics are different. We're like-minded. But your time is better spent. So what, what is your tactics then? That's what I said. What does it look like? What is your